everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Today I want to talk to you about an interesting interaction I had from taking a PDF from Final Draft 13 and transferring it to uh, a, a document I can work on in Fade In. Now I had this particular question from somebody who's trying to go from Final Draft 13 and or just Final Draft in general and seeing if they can pull up stuff and, and work on stuff in their new uh, screenwriting software Fade In. Now you can do that, and, and Fade In does a really good job with sort of matching the formatting and stuff like that. However, there's a caveat to that, and I'd like to talk to you about that caveat today. So I'm in Final Draft 13 right now, and as you can see here, I did include an emoji because that's, you know, the big selling point for Final Draft 13 is emojis. So I created a PDF of this, and I uploaded it into Fade In, um, and so I want to show you what the Fade In program looks like. I ended up... Um, because Fade In isn't always easy for me to record on, I just created a PDF of what I saw in Fade In. So this is the PDF that I got from uh, taking the file from Final Draft 13 with an emoji and then changing it into Fade In. Um, so you can see here from the PDF, this is what it sort of looks like. Uh, and the, it does a great job of translating everything on the page except for the emoji. You'll notice here that there's no emoji here uh, as there was in Final Draft 13. Uh, fade in isn't able to figure that out. So then what, what you're going to need to do for a script that comes from Final Draft 13 and turning it into fade in, you're just going to have to watch if you have any sort of images present. Um, I didn't check this with any other images, but I'm assuming since it's an emoji, that's an image, that the file formatting is not uh, compatible between these two programs. But that's really a small price to pay. Other than that, um, going from a PDF from Final Draft 13 and making it into a file for fade in works really well. Just again, if you have any type of image, you might want to check your formatting. Well, if you have any other questions, let me know below. Until the next video, live well and write well.